Hello and welcome to another Block Spotlight with me, the most happy one, aka Mr. Surrett. In today's episode, we'll be looking at the Feed Station. Feed Station is a railcraft device. Recipe here is as such. You need wood planks, just about any kind will do in the corners. Golden carrot in the outside centre spots, and the centre is steel plate. Now, the gold carrot is just a carrot in the middle with gold nuggets around the outside. Gold nuggets being just a gold ingot in the crafting table. Doesn't matter where you put it in there, you'll get nine gold nuggets. You need eight for a gold carrot. And the steel plate requires steel. Let's get some. Uh, right there requires nine steel in the rolling machine. Now the rolling machine does need to be powered. This time I'm using redstone conductive uh, redstone conductive conduit and all you do is you click on here and you get the steel plates look at the rolling machine more in depth in the rolling machine uh, block spotlight though so yeah that's the feed station now the feed station what's its purpose it is for breeding it can breed cows pigs sheep wolves and cats or ocelots and you can provide the feed station with wheat meat or raw beef uh, fish what else? Carrots. Now I am told that you can also breed chickens with seeds. However, I have, might just be my version, I'm not too sure, might need clarification, but I can't put seeds in the feed station and seeds are what chickens used are used, or what they use to breed now. So, uh, that's the chickens. Everything else I know does work. Now you can fill the feed stations. The feed stations don't come with a pole on the bottom. I've just put a feed station on a fence post. You can put the items directly into the feed station or you can have a loader being a railcraft device or even just a chest next to it. If you put the items into it, we'll put raw fish for the ocelots. You'll see it's cycling it's passing it straight into the feed station now the feed station will periodically feed nearby animals you can see this one's worked a little bit there's a there you, ooh, <laughs> there you go there's a few kittens it will feed nearby animals it'll only feed them randomly but only of only at two animals that are ready to mate and one one piece of food in there will breed will be enough for two animals to breed so yep, this one's filling up eventually they'll start breeding too okay cows are of course wheat they haven't changed now we've seen with the cats or the ocelots down the bottom, well there you go, little wolf, a litter popped out, a litter of four kittens from one breeding. Now that's because there are bonuses with the feeder, which makes them worthwhile using over just feeding your animals manually. And the bonus obviously is litters. You can have for pigs wolves and your ocelots and also supposedly your chickens they can all have litters off the one feed which obviously increases your output you'll also notice that all these kittens seem to be mine it's because when they breed they do become your pets for your that's for your ocelots your cats and your wolves so it's also a good way of getting a giant army Let's whack some wheat in here for the sheep. And pigs are... Oop! There's ocelot following me. 
their carrots, almost put golden carrots in there, that won't do any good. So we'll wait and see if any of these have litters. There's a nice little calf over there. Now these here are obviously not ready to breed again with the... Oh, hello. Oh, maybe they did have a litter. Still having the calf, they're not ready to breed. So it'll keep the wheat in here until it's re they are ready to breed and then it'll randomly choose it. There are a couple of other things. Uh, we didn't get a litter from the pigs that time. There are a couple of things to remember when breeding. If the area animals need certain area to breed if the area is too small they will not breed the machine will not feed the animals in fact you may have animals despawn so make sure the area is large enough and the one other thing which can come in handy if say you've got a whole chest of goodies and you don't want any more animals is that a redstone signal will turn the machine off. So if we grab a lever, probably should have had it ready already, and yep, we'll go on it, click on it, that'll turn the machine off. And there doesn't appear to be any visual change to it, so you simply have to know that you've got it turned off. Oh, he got out. That's another thing, make sure the pens are large enough because if they, these, these are a 7x7, seven seven, obviously too small because the animals keep getting out. But um, yeah, that's the uh, quick look at the feed station. Hopefully you enjoyed, got something from it. If you did, like, subscribe and leave a comment. And I will see you in the next Spotlight. Bye bye.